Hi, welcome to week two of our programming class called Bootstrap World. Um, let's see where we were last week. So last week you learned about thinking in models and about using model thinking to start to design your computer game that's based on the Ninja Cat game. We learned about circles of evaluation. So we took a math function and um, applied these two rules. Each circle must have one function which goes at the top of the, the circle. So in, in this example here, the outside function is times, and there's even an inside circle with a function of plus. And then the numbers are written below in order from left to right. So it's times six, this other thing, and then inside this one's plus four and five. So you had some practice doing that. And then you also learn how to run circles of evaluation, or turn circles of evaluation into computer code. So you also learned how to turn uh, circles of evaluation in computer code into um, Dr. Racket. So code rule one is that all values are legal expressions. And we looked at some simple values like numbers. And that each open parentheses is followed by one function then by one or more legal expressions, and finally by a closing parentheses. parentheses. So we learned how to turn this type of circle of evaluation into this computer code in Dr. Racket. Let's look quickly at that. I'm going to copy this and go into Dr. Racket. So go ahead and start Dr. Racket if, you, if it hasn't. There's an icon on your desktop that looks like that. And I'll paste that into Dr. Racket. Oh, didn't paste very good. Let's see, that was times six, and we're going to multiply six by the sum four and five. 54. And we can always think of this, this type of notation. Uh, which is called prefix notation because it has the um, operation at the beginning that we're going to do. Um, and it's an English sentence uh, with, with the verb at the beginning. So I can say multiply 6 by the sum of 4 and 5. So you know even just the small one inside, I can say add 4 to 5. So you can always just think, always think of these parentheses um, like being able to, to talk in an English sentence. So today we're going to practice more of this turning um, circles of evaluation into code. So open your um, workbook to page 7. And there's some practice things there. And in each row, you'll see a mathematical expression on the left-hand column. And then um, I'm going to go through, I'm going to do some demonstrations, but then I want you to, after, um, and I'll show, I'll tell you when, and, and to pause, and then you draw out the circle of evaluation and the computer code and, and the Dr. Racket for each one of these. So I, um, you can draw in yours. I'm not a very good drawer on the computer screen. So I have some um, pre-made images here that hopefully I can change to um, do all the circle evaluation problems. So let's, let's double check and see. So let's look at the... Um, so I have uh, two examples that aren't in your book. So just watch these first two examples. So here is a... Um, here is a mathematical expression. So it looks like there's one big one expression, and inside it are two sub-expressions. So I'm going to copy my big circle. And then inside it, I want two little circles. So let's paste that in. All right. So down here, I don't need this. I don't need this. 
I need my sub expression, sub expression, oops. All right, that looks kind of like the shape of this, right? I have a, an overall expression. I have a, um, and two smaller expressions. So that looks like these circles. All right, this first one, I want to, uh, my operation is uh, multiplication is star. So I'm going to replace that with a star. And I have left to right, I only got one and a four. And then on the right hand side, my second one, I've got uh, addition as my operation. And I've left going left to right, I've got three and six. And then the overall expression is subtraction. So you can do it either way. I mean, I could have said subtraction first and done the big circle first. Um, but that worked just as well, I think. Now, I can turn this circle of evaluation into racket code. So that's the second thing we want to do. And let's see, my racket code is going to be, um, I want it to not, I'm going to move this over a little bit. So ah, I'm going to move it over so I have enough room. Hopefully that's enough room shouldn't be much longer than my original. All right, so I have an outside circle. And my operation and my outside, remember we want to go from the outside in and grab the operation first. So that's minus. And then down here, I want to start with the left. And since it's a circle, I'm going to go from the outside in and grab the operation. So I have it's a circle. And times is the operation. And then left to right, one, four. All right, I'm through with that circle, so I close it. And then my other operation, or my other thing to operate on, is also a circle. So I open that circle, and I do a plus there. And going left to right is a 3 and a 6. And I close that circle, and I close my big circle. And now I can copy that. Put it in Dr. Racket, hopefully. It still doesn't like that. I need to try to think of a better way to do this. Um, I'm going to do it where I can see both of those things at the same time. Let's see if that'll work. That's going to be a better way to do it, I think. All right, so I'm going to do open. I'll walk through this, so I'll go a little faster. Open minus, open, star, one, four. And see, Dr. Rackett already closed that for me, so all I have to do is either close it myself or move to the right one. And then the other thing is I want to add three and six. Those things are already closed. Minus five. All right, let's go to the next example. All right, this looks like an overall expression. And then inside that is a circle, and inside that is a circle. So I think I'm going to have three circles all in between. So let's do one big one. And didn't set up a medium sized one, but we can make that real quick. Here's a small one. And then here is another small one that we're going to make medium. Okay, let's try that. All right, so let's see. So inside my smallest one, all right, that's on the right-hand side. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm also going to get rid of that. This, this is easier for you to draw, hopefully, than it is for me to set it over 
here. Smaller. Okay, hopefully that's about right. I think that's about the right shape. So let's, um, this time we'll start from the outside and go in. Let's see about that. All right, so our overall expression is a minus. So let's do minus. And then on the left-hand side, it has an 8. Put 8. And then we start a new circle. And its operation is a plus. And it has a 1 on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, it has a op new operation, which is a star, and it has a 2 and a 3. All right, so hopefully that is clear. That That's what I think those three are. All right, now let's go over in Dr. Racket and execute that. All right, so I had outside minus 8 and then medium which is plus and 1 and then inside is a star 2 3 all right now I'll close my tiny close my medium close my big That looks right. Let's see if that's right. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. So that's 7 for this medium-sized circle. And then 8 minus 7 is 1. So that's right. All right. Let's try another one. All right. Um, all right. This one has the same shape. I recognize that shape from uh, two slides ago. So I'm just going to copy that shape. It's fine to recognize, just like we talked about models. I can recognize that this that I already had one that's a model for this shape. It's one expression with two sub-expressions inside, so two circles inside of one. We're just going to have to do different, uh, I'm going to replace things. So the operation is a minus, so that's correct for the outside. But on this one, the times is the operation, so that's right, but I want three and eight. Three. Eight. And the right hand side, it is a plus, but it wants three and four. Three and four. Okay, good. All right, now let's do the racket code. All right, on the outside of my circle is a minus, and then my first inside circle has a star. A 3 and an 8. Close that circle. Space. My next inside circle has a plus and a 3 and a 4. Close that tiny one. Close the whole thing. 17. All right. Now you pause the video and do the section that's marked round 1 in your workbook. Okay, let's look at the next example. Let's see, that's a pretty simple one. I don't have a model for it, so let's just uh, let's look at it again. It's one overall expression with a number and one small circle. So we should be able to copy both of these guys. And just paste them in. And that's got a circle on the right.
Okay. Um, let's work um, inside out this time. Let's start with our inside. So on the inside, we have a plus. And we have a 3 and a 2. And then I have a 7 down here and a minus up here. Probably should have worked on that. Always practice going outside in. Um, so let's let's look at that outside in. So we have minus, it's the overall expression, a 7 on the left. And then on my inside circle, I have a plus as the operation and a 3 and a 2. All right, let me type that into Dr. Racket. Open paren for the outside circle, minus, and then now down at the bottom, going left to right, I have a 7. And I have a new circle, and that one has a plus, and a 3, space 2. Close my little circle, close my big circle. All right, great. Now you pause the video and do round two in your workbook. Okay, let's do our next one. Let's see, that one has a shape we've seen before. So there's an overall expression, and then there's a medium-sized expression and a small inside one. So that one looks like that guy. So I'm going to use it as a model. Copy. All right, so that's my model. And let's see, going from the outside in, the bit overall expression, I have a minus, so that's going to stay the same. I have a 7 instead of an 8. And then on my next level of circle, I have a plus. Okay, good, that can stay the same. I also have a 1, so that can stay the same. On my small inside circle, I have a times. And I have a 4 and a 7. So I think that's what my circles look like. Turn that into code. I have a big circle to open. I have a minus as the operation. A 7. And now I have to do an inside circle. So here's another open circle. And that one, which is I'm looking at this medium-sized circle, has a plus and a 1, and then now I have an inside circle, small circle, which has a times and a 4 space 7. Close my tiny circle, close my medium circle, close my big circle. Great. Okay, now you pause the video and do round 3 in your workbook. Okay, last one. Let's see, that shape actually kind of looks like the other one. It's got a big expression, a medium-sized expression, and a small. So I'm going to, uh, it's just in a different order. So I'm going to use this guy as a model. And then I'm going to go ahead and rearrange uh, my circles. I think that's the right arrangement. So now let's go, let's say, let's make sure that's right. So I have a big overall expression, I have a medium that's got a number on the left, and then I've got an inside. Okay, I think that's right. All right, so going from the outside, the overall thing is a minus, the overall uh, operation is a minus, so I got that. And then on the left-hand side of that minus, I've got a medium-sized circle, good, and in the medium-sized circle I have a plus, that's correct, and over on the left-hand side of that plus I've got a 3, and then on the right-hand side I've got a small circle with a times and a 4 and a 5, and then on the right-hand side of that minus I've got a 2. All right. I think that is the circle of evaluation for this expression. Let's type that into Dr. Racket. Big circle, minus. Medium circle, plus. Three. 
inside circle times 4, 5, close my tiny circle, close my medium circle, space, 2, close my big circle. So give that a try. All right, now it's time for you to do round four. I moved that box. Round four in your notebook. So pause the video now and do that round four in your notebook. Okay, and, and, and I don't remember if I said, but if you haven't, um, go back to your, your notebook. If you haven't been typing in Dr. Racket at the end, like I have, so you're, you're on page seven, you have... Um, three columns where you've been writing the circle of evaluation uh, where you've got the problem and the circle of evaluation and then the racket um, code uh, for it. Go ahead and if you have it, go ahead now and pause the video and type each of those racket expressions into Dr. Racket to make sure that you um, got them correct. If you've already done that, then you don't have to do it. But if you if you haven't, go ahead and do that. So pause now if you need to. Great. And that's it. Um, that's it today. So we practiced today um, doing more circles of evaluation and turning that into racket code. And that will help us continue with our game.